Hello everyone, it's going to be an amazing evening <clears throat> to have our mama. <laughs> Let me see, um, plus, is it plus? Um, let me not wait for, uh, let me see. Okay. Okay. Um, I haven't seen her yet. Yay, 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 yay. We're going to have an amazing time right now. So I'm waiting for mommy to come. I'm waiting for mommy to come. Everybody, come, 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 come. This is, we're still on parenting. So after parenting, we're taking up another, another topic from October. And we're bringing in different guest speakers, experienced. So this is real issues real people, real God. I'm trying to, um, how do I send a request to mommy? When someone joins, how do I send a request to her? Um, invite to join. It's not showing me mommy's name. You're not showing me mommy's name. When I type FF, uh, it's not coming up. So let me wait for mommy to come and I will add her. Please begin to tag people, tag people. Begin to tag people to come live. Begin to tag people. We have a mother, a global mama coming to speak to us. Guess what? Mommy is in a meeting. She's in a meeting, but she's going to leave the meeting and just come speak to us and go back. Her heart is just beautiful, honestly. Her heart is just beautiful. Thank God. I pray that when God takes me there, <laughs> I will be more humble. Mommy is just a blessing. Please begin to tag people. Let them come live and join us. Begin to tag people. Um, this is that session that we just can't miss. It's that session we just can't miss. She's going to, she's already sent me a message that she's ready. So let me tell her once I see you. Once I see mommy, I will bring her up. So we can all begin to talk. No, let's not talk, mommy. Mm -mm. She's going to come. We thank God for her. We th Yay, I've seen mommy. All of you, where are you people going to? Just go and invite people. Hmm? Just go and invite people. You people like to come. You come late. Stop coming late. join early don't join midway don't join later don't go and watch it later just join life immediately <laughs> hello <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mommy good evening don't touch me, oh, even, even the joy is not letting me to concentrate <laughs> Talk to see, you, um, see everybody uh, one prayer we should pray in life is when god takes you there learn humility from reverend Funke i'm telling you i'm telling you
in you. I, I told my people, I go package them, all of us. We will relocate <laughs> to Accurate to Accura and go and stay in the resort and feed our brain. I told them, oh, please invite me. Invite me. me. What a privilege. Mommy is in a meeting, no. Mommy is in a meeting. She just stepped out. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Ooh. You're welcome. Thank you. Good evening, doctor. You're doing so well. Thank you. Well mommy. done. God bless you. How is Prof doing? He's good. Good. He's good, mom. Okay. Mommy, nothing to say. We are just here. We have our pen and our paper. Ah. You're going to ask me questions. <laughs> yes. Mommy, we, we won't, I know if I say questions, everybody, but let's begin from here. But first of all, can we just say good evening, mommy? Can we just appreciate mommy? For good evening. Time? Mommy is, is not even in Nigeria. She's in a meeting and she left the meeting to come and speak to us. Please, thank you so much, but we are grateful. Good evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your love. Amen. And honor. I'm, I'm grateful to God for the honor and the privilege. First of all, mommy, uh, how, how, because every, we have many people here, and then um, we want to know how are you able to fly all around the world? Yet, I saw one of your daughters in Mauritius when we went um, for the retreat. Uh, in fact, the way she looks, I thought that when she talks, her voice will be like the way, but the voice is tender. And she talks, you know, is this, what's the right word, Choma? Mommy, how are you able to do this? How are you able to, how did you train these children? How are you a good wife to Bishop Felix Adejumo? How are you traveling up? We just want to, how can we be, good mothers and fathers in our homes okay thank you again for the privilege and the honor i hope i hope the camera is okay yes, okay and once again thank you for having me and good evening yeah. everybody thank you mom. I'm, I'm reading everything but um let's just uh, go on this evening um first and foremost i like to say that outside of god's grace we all are nothing because paul made plants apollo can water it is god that gives the increase so let's get that right that it is what god gives that we gather psalm 104 and verse 28 Thou openest thy hands and they are filled. So it is what God gives that we gather. Also, let me say this secondly that there is no perfect parent anywhere. There is no perfect parent anywhere. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 17 and verse number one, God was speaking to um, Abraham and he said, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. The word perfect there in the original translation is not, it's not perfection. It is mature. Okay. Walk before me and mature. So we understand that there is no perfect parent anywhere. God is the only perfect parent. Next thing I like to say is that before you go into parenting, please marry well. Marry well. I know some of you are single parents, not by choice. Some of you are divorced. Some of you are separated and you still have to parent. So what I just said now is I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people that are in a regular relationship you know husband wife father mother it's important for you to marry well 
reason is if you're a Christian and you don't marry from your tribe, and when I say tribe, I mean someone from your faith, there, there will be issues. Your spouse wants the children to go this way. You want the children to go that way. You need to understand that this matter is not tribe by tribe. So please, marry someone that respects your view. Marry someone that you respect his or her view. Very Am I echoing? Or no, no, I... no, ma'am. Okay. We hear you very well. Okay. Having laid this foundation, I want to say that there are five kinds of parents, okay. just like there are five kinds of children. Okay. And there are also categories. I'll get into that. So don't say, oh, I don't have a biological child. So uh, Dr. Chioma is not talking to me. We're talking to you. You have your biological children if God has given you the privilege to have them. Number two, you have your natural children. Your natural children are the children that will marry your biological children. Number three, you have your spiritual children. If you're a person of faith. Number four, you have your adopted children. In fact, some people adopted you, you didn't adopt them. And then number five, you have destiny children. So as a parent, you have all these five. Your biological, your natural, your spiritual, your adopted, and your destiny children. There are some people that if you don't succeed in life, you are delaying them. You are hindering them. So you have to make sure that you succeed. You fulfill your destiny. Let me now explain that. There are four major groups of parents. Number one, you have absentee parents. And that takes me to your question. That how did I cope? How did Okay, somebody is asking, so let me see. Biological, natural, spiritual, adopted, and destiny. Yeah. Yes. So, how did I cope? I'm not talking about the groups now. But your question is, how am I able to raise, and of course my husband and I, how were we able to raise our kids? How am I able to be a wife, a woman? And a woman? everywhere. Okay. So number one, we have absentee parents. When we speak about absentee parents, two categories. One, they are never there. They are absent in their children's lives. They are everywhere. Everywhere. They carry everybody's loads on their heads and they drag the destinies of their children in their hands. They drag it to the floor. When that first group, the second one, they are physically there, but they are not there. They're physically there, but they're not present. They're physically present, but they're absent. So when our children were young, Chioma, I refused to travel okay. around the world. Mm. God's call has always been on my life. Mm. But you need to understand that life is not lived. Hello. Life is not lived in years. Thank you. Life is lived in seasons. You must understand this. Thank you, everybody. I'm, I appreciate your comment. You know, life is lived in phases. Life is lived in seasons. There is a way you deploy your destiny, your assignment, your life as a single person. This is a way you deploy your destiny as a married person 
then as a mother, as a grandmother. Life is not lived in years. Life is lived in seasons. And seasons are seasonal. No season is forever. So when our kids were young, I did not travel around the world. It will shock you to know that I did not have one single house help. It was a decision wow. that my husband and I made. Wow. I decided to put my career on hold wow. for a few years. Then as I began to move into another phase, I started doing jobs that will allow me to be physically present in the lives of those children. I thank God I had my sister. Now, what I'm saying may not be applicable. These days, you need house help. My last one is 34, so you know that I'm not speaking of... <clears throat> so, life is dynamic. Things have changed. You can have a house help, but you need to pray to be sure that this is the person God wants you. And you can ask God to send help to you. Then... When the ministry started, because my husband became a pastor, we didn't get married. He wasn't a pastor when we got married. Okay. And we had our children in quick succession. Biologically, we have four children, and then we adopted three. So, when I had to combine being a wife, being a young mother, with being a pastor's wife, and then God calling me and putting me in ministry too, and I also went to school for my first degree. I decided to be taking my children along when I started traveling. Wow. Remember the first season, I did not travel. Stayed at home. And then they got to a level I started traveling with them to show them that God did not steal us from them. Mm. I, I would take my children to Germany, take them mm. to Ireland, take them, no, not Ireland, take them to Italy, take them to England, take them, you know, everywhere. And one of them, my, all my children sing, but one of them has a, a, a ministry. Before I preach, I will hand over the microphone to mm -hmm. my children to bring a word of greatness. Then I will ask that one that sings to sing. Then, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Then I will say before I preach, I have acknowledged my my host i have eulogized whoever gave me the privilege have thanked everybody my husband then i will say something like this i want to thank my children they are here today please stand up for recognition i want to thank each and every one of you for not allowing the microphone to be taken from our hands, your dad and I. Because you prove that Christianity can work at home. That's the reason we can export. I thank you for having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to know that your dad and I are so proud of you. Kai! Thank you for coming on this trip with me. I love you more than you may ever realize. And you know your dad loves you too. Thank you. Then I will start preaching. Every time. That was how I did in that season of my life. When we could afford to take them everywhere. When we couldn't afford to take them, I was at home with them. Then, every Thursday night, like today, was our family night as Felix Adejumos. We never taught them Bible on Thursday night. 
it was a practical night ask cause any question from sex to pregnancy to virginity to somebody that bullied you in school to anything Thursday night we didn't do Bible study even though we were in ministry it was life that we studied on Thursday night till our children grew and became adults my husband didn't travel on Thursday nights. I didn't travel except no, we'll be home. So you can be physically present but absent. So I just spoke about absentee parents and I used our lives to explain this to you. But two, you have abusive parents. My mother was a bit abusive. And I'm trying to be modest. Any little thing, bam. Any small thing. Now, somebody is asking, when did we start? We started as soon as they could comprehend. Hey. It's three. It's three. You know, the elders, the eldest, then the next. Whether the tiny one was understanding or not, it didn't matter because we didn't want to waste time on, you know, we didn't want that firstborn to miss it. So whether she's understanding or not, because science has proved that even fetus can hear. So we did not bother whether she's two or she's three. We started early. Because Psychologists have discovered that we were all born geniuses. Between 18 and 24 months, only 90% remains geniuses. By age 5, only 20% remain geniuses. By age 20, only 2%. Will remain why because of programming and we are programmed without our permission in three ways number one verbal programming it has to do with the way we dress the money in our accounts our parents didn't know that they were programming us hey you want to kill me? Where will I get another money for iPad? They didn't know they were telling us, don't aim higher. And unconsciously, we are perpetuating it. Ah, yeah, In this yeah. household, we may not have money, but we have love. We are programming our children. But we don't realize it. Does money grow on trees? We are programming our children. Because that was the way we were programmed. My mother that beat hell out of me even for things i didn't do she left marks on my body for things i did not do and you don't fight the way you were programmed you reprogram yourself that's why till tomorrow a mentor or a coach is the short test journey the short test link from where you are to where you are going because if you are not careful, you're going to repeat how you were programmed. So, verbal programming, number two, modeling. You didn't see your parents display, you know, open affection, public affection. You saw the way your father treated your mother. If you're not careful, it's been modeled to you. You didn't see your pastor do, you know, if you're not careful. So we have verbal programming, we have modeling, and then number three, you have specific incidents. You were raped. 
or your, your father walked out on your mother so you say all men are bad i don't want to be married you were programmed in coaching we call it conditioning you were conditioned and you don't know how conditioned you are until you start excavating so you notice that if you were not raised very well for instance you were abused as a child it's either you repeat it or you become so you become abusive or you become the third kind of parent you become permissive so we have absentee number two we have abusive that's boss then shut up come here or you become permissive like eli and if thing goes it's okay he's gone let him do whatever he you this girl you cannot see me or see the dress you are wearing oh. Then you have number four, participatory parents. So I have said nine things tonight. Number one, you can be a biological parent, natural parent, spiritual parent, adopted parent, destiny parent. Then you can be abusive. You can be absentee, you can be permissive, and you can be participatory. So it's either you raise your kids the way you were raised, or you unlearn. Because the literature of the 21st century are not the people that cannot read or write, they are the people that cannot unlearn and we learn as it was in the beginning so shall it be oh you unlearn say no i wasn't treated well i will not treat my children well this that way just like being a mentor you not you were not mentored when you say no i will not treat my mentees this way or you repeat the mistakes which is what goes on in african culture come here shut Talk. We're talking and you are talking. We have to start on learning and relearning. That's one of the reasons I thank God for the Chioma. A program like this is a blessing. A blessing. Because some of us, sometimes you don't, you don't hear things like this in church or in the mosque. Come here, we want to talk about parenting. People are looking for money. They are looking for how to, how to blow. So, this god helped me to to understand early and it helped us i joined my husband to raise our children let me now say this now that i'm a grandparent of nine a grandmother of nine i am spoiling my grandchildren <laughs> so when i go to where my children you know for instance when i go to houston and um, you know, my daughter will say, Mommy, you are spoiling these children. You didn't treat us like yeah. that. I say, Ah, my, yes. my ministry is to spoil them. Your ministry is to train them. Yeah. I hope, hope I answered your question. I, I was moved to tears, honestly. I was moved to tears at the point you said you didn't travel when they were young but when you started traveling you were taking them along at any time you could then you would say things like mommy how did that come about that thing you said this thing you said now because that was wisdom that was powerful talking to their mind is it, it, was it what the Holy Spirit, or was it what you knew before? Did you read about parenting? It was the Holy Spirit. You know, somehow, somehow, God will start with somebody. Most of the things, Dr. Choma, that I preach, and the way I live and run my life, I didn't, nobody taught me. 
it was the Holy Spirit. Because he has generations in mind. So he had to start with someone. I'm not self-made, not at all. People contributed to my life. But the core of the kind of teachings that God helps me to give to my generation, no, he downloaded to me. And sometimes I'm wondering, God, how? Because I didn't, you know. So somebody is asking, um, did I make mistakes? Plenty. Particularly with the first child. The first child is always the guinea pig that you use to, you know, I told you there's no perfect parent. Our first child went to six schools, six primary schools. Ah, so it can be good. Ah, that school is not good again. So, you know, hey, you know, and all that. And it affected him. He wouldn't believe it. He graduated. He, uh, there was a time he was, he was schooling in England. I'm in England now. He was schooling in England. And at a point he said no. He wanted to come home. He had been praying. So eventually we had to withdraw him. And then he joined his siblings at the Covenant University. Mm. Do you know that my firstborn and my last one graduated on the same day. He says it. He's, a, he's an engineer today. And he ministers. He says it. So we've made mistakes before. Before I started understanding these things that I'm teaching you, that was the day I beat my daughter. She fell inside the food she was eating. Because that was the way I was raised. Until I started with, with, with Holy Spirit, I refused to make this a generational thing. Because my mother told me that that was the way she was raised. Her father would beat her while she was naked. So she brought it to me. Then, no, 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 no. That's the reason I got born again. I got born again early. Holy Spirit, please. <laughs> Thank you, Canada. I'm coming in November. My God's grace. Somebody is asking me, you know, so... You learn, you make your mistakes. I'm not perfect. I still make mistakes. But I can look back to them and say, Give that to the Lord. Um, before I continue, um, I don't know if, if we have seen this flyer. Funke Felix Adejumo Matrix Center. 2025 time out in Marrakesh with daddy and mommy. And it's going to be at Fairmont Royal Palm Marrakesh, 12th to 18th of March, 2025. You know why I'm reading this? We were in Mauritius in March. I was like this. First of all, in the life of Reverend Funke Felis Adejomo, I learned that anointing comes with humility. I thought anointing comes with, when you see people who are not, I didn't know that people who are anointed, when I was growing up, you could have access to them. She will call us for a meeting for five. She will be there for 450 or 440. She will be the number one. She would come first before she would teach us how to. Um, in fact, after eating, till that time I do it. She said, in case you eat late, um, march or, or walk around 99 times. When, when mommy came to Maya, in the midst of everything she said, she made a profound statement that stuck here. That when Ruth came back to Bethlehem, a widow and went to the uh, field of Boaz. Boaz cited her and said, who is this damsel? She said, I know English. God compressed age. A damsel is a young... You see, this woman of God seated here is a blessing to the world. That's the only way to define her. Anybody who follows mommy, this is not a... What what will I say is um, it's not like somebody saying what is not true. Mommy is a blessing. In fact, Mommy Maduba called me before life and said, "Baby, I see um 
um reverend funka Adejimo is coming on this platform oh may god bless this meeting may the name is a blessing and i want to encourage us she said something about pitfall is that the right word she said it gets to a point in your life pause gather strength this is what god has called me to do to bring you out this pulpit who can give life it can also kill these are her words so at some point it because if you die if continues life will continue so my own is to bring you out feed you with the word of god make you relax and coach you this is one of the highest coaches in the world there was something i took a decision with. i didn't say in nigeria i didn't say in africa she's not just going to coach me she will coach us we it's not me only me i've told them we, all of us will go and stay at the resort for those who are in accurate is a place of prayer is a place of retreat is a place of encounter i don't know what to say but mommy i i i'm, I'm I, at the time i said what am i writing she be this thing is on video i forgot it's on video <laughs> that i'm going to watch it again mommy thank you ma now can we ask questions um if you let's see the first five questions that you want to go to marrakesh please um go to mommy's page or inbox me i will just give you for all those who want to go to marrakesh don't think about it make up your mind it's an encounter you will i learned a lot in mauritius and there's a story i will tell mommy of what happened and the lady is on this live she's here so it's an encounter everybody would desire to have let's see your question she truly is an amazing woman of god <laughs> when are you when you are back in ghana mommy okay okay get so somebody is asking when i will receive my coaching program actually we have a a coaching program the first session will be on october 1st if you go on my page you will see that i announced it the signature it's a 12 week event and i'm meeting you three times you will see a number there you can whatsapp and all that the signature yeah. october november yeah. december okay i slashed it to up to 70 percent discount because i just felt in my spirit that some people need this and some people have paid we're going to do it if you go on my page you will see the signature it, it is like this yes 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 that's it so you might want to quickly register so that you can be, be a part of it we we have the first session on october 1st well i'm in jesus house some people are asking where am i with my sister, Apostle Francina Norman, you know, that's the meeting I am in. Today is the first day. I'm ministering tomorrow. I'm ministering on Saturday. If you want to be. Somebody asked a question. Somebody said, Have you ever felt confused about the calling of God in your life? Oh, of course, I have. <laughs> you know, I'm very real. I don't want to use the word confused. Sorry, your husband, yes, to Marrakesh, yes, your husband can come. Yes, singles can come. Flyer. Exactly, said, can everybody I come can come. My husband? Yes. I'll post the flyers on my page, in me, all the flyers, both yes. the signature and the Marrakesh. Thank you. So after this, you come to the, my page, you will see the flyers. Okay, and somebody, so you have. somebody is saying, if you don't have biological children yet, but you have spiritual children, we'll just talk to you how to, how to model to them, you know? And there are four major things, maybe later I'll share that, that you need to do for your children, whether they are biological or they are whatever, you know, we'll talk about that. So have I ever been confused? Of course. Sometimes I second guess myself. Yes, ma'am. Am I really sure? Yes. Not that. But one thing I have learned in life is to live my life in seasons. Yes, ma'am. There was a time I was doing mother summit all around the yes. world. Yes, ma'am. you when I should stop. Yes, ma'am. you. So, you know, you must know what God said and what God is saying. Mm. Because God said to Abraham, go and kill the child, sacrifice mm. the child. Then the same God said, don't. So I knew when the assignment was, when the assignment changed. 
So you cannot say because you've been doing it forever, you must continue to do it. No. Life is lived in seasons. Mm. And we need to understand that. So I second guess myself, of course. But I thank God for the Holy Spirit. Mm. You know, keeps um, helping us. How you need to you... come to Marrakesh. Oh, that's the truth. March 12 to 18. Exactly. And we have, you have to register mm -hmm. with 550. Mm -hmm. It will... Um, um, anybody will end. I have extended it for a few more, whatever. Will end this Can October. I... Add a last number to the post. Yes, so, please. Okay, ma. Yes, okay. please. Um, How do you heal from not having a father who was lost through death? How do you heal? Yes, ma. From not having a father who was lost through death. Oh, through death. Oh, yes. we sympathize with you. But you see, you need to understand that life happens. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. God is sovereign. You cannot live your life using a reverse gear. You do your best to heal and then to move on. And if God can give you a mentor, maybe that is a male, fantastic. Otherwise, you see, life is about choices. We can choose to be thankful for what we have or angry for what we don't have mm -hmm. so you make your choice he's dead you can't bring him back <laughs> so you have to move on i need to advise i have to leave my one year five months old child and go for my studies but it's not easy <laughs> that's what we call the love sacrifice my baby was four months old when i went back to school four months but because you know that it's just for some time it's sacrifice so I encourage you to go but make sure that you leave the child in how can we how can we reprogram reprogram practical ways to achieve reprogramming intentionally get a coach get into a coaching program it's not a what took you you are 25 years now you are 35 years you don't expect your reprogram to, to just happen on the instagram live ah, what mm. Because there's what you call spaced repetition, mm. you know, over time. Mm. So, and then some, I noticed that some people are asking about parenting in diaspora. It's difficult. I understand you. But there are still good children here. Yes, ma'am. So the first thing is stop thinking that it is difficult. It is difficult. Because you will have what you think about. Genesis chapter 6. Mm. I always advise that... If it's possible for you, let your child maybe come and do secondary school in Nigeria or in Africa to gain native intelligence. You know, in this your area, you cannot beat, you cannot shout, you cannot, <laughs> and you don't want to lose your child. Mm. Then I am a single. Befriend okay. your children. Befriend your children. Befriend your children. Everything is not beating, beating, beating. Mm. Befriend them. Yes, please go on. I'm a single mom. Ever since my husband walked out on us, my daughter has been so bitter with her father. Please, ma, what can I do? I've spoken to her that he is still her dad. Well, there's what you call the law of consequence. Life is about cause and effect. There's nothing you can do about that. Just get it right. A man that walked out of his daughter's life should get ready to face the consequences. Mm. But because you are trying to help your daughter, I encourage you, you might want to get her a mentor or a professional that can walk her through. You know, don't blame her. It's, it's tough. It's not easy. Show her more love. Double up as her father and mother. And then, more importantly, get her a professional or a mentor that can help. Okay, mommy. Um, I would like to know what can... Okay, I would like to know, I guess, what can someone do if a parent has become distant from his family? A parent has become distant from his <laughs> Is it that family. family. Yeah. That's the extended family. You need to ask questions. Why? Mm -hmm. He is his family, so he knows what he's doing. Maybe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my father didn't take us to the village because
source of so many things. You know, this African culture. So you need to understand why is the parent doing that? He will have his reasons. And if he's not ready to tell you the reasons, don't go and be looking for what is not lost. It is his own family. He knows them. Mm -hmm. And some African families are, the best thing is just put them at arm's length. So if you find out and it's something you can reconcile them, otherwise, face your life. That's my counsel. Please, Ma, um, how do you relate with God as father when you didn't have a relationship with your earthly father? There are people whose fathers died on the day they were born. So your case is not um, peculiar. It's a choice. Choose. So, um, are, there different, are there different parenting skills for a single mother who left an abusive marriage with her children? You have to double up. You need yes. God's grace on yes. you know, yes, a higher scale. Yes. But follow all the things we we, we shared too. Yes, ma'am. Please, uh, I think we all have um, 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 so many questions, and mommy has the answer. The truth of the matter is that she's a global coach. That's just the truth. There's no two ways about it, honestly. And they join the online coaching, um, which is coming up. This one that I showed you, the flyer. Please. You know, when it comes to things we commit ourselves, we we tend to run away. I, I I know what I'm saying because there are mommy has made powerful statements that has to do with me. You know, um you cannot solve everybody's problem. Look at it. I want you to go to Facebook and just type Funke Felix Adejumo. Um, just click on the page. This will come out. If it comes out, please just get on the information. Or if you have any question, who, who do you... There's a number. There's a number here that you can reach out to. What did you send to me? Is it possible to keep correcting a child without using a cane? Especially those of them who prove stubborn. <laughs> number one. I told you there are four things you need to do for your child. Number one, love your child. Number two, train your child. Number three, know your child. Love. Number four, train. No. Number four, pray for your child. Mm. Why are you saying that the child is? Why are you saying that the child is stubborn? That's the reason the child is stubborn, because you have believed that the child is stubborn. Change your confession. You can love that child into submission. So, befriend the child. You know, I have two boys biologically. When they were young, when they were younger, they are, you know, all our, our, our biological children are married now. I will take the two of them and say, let's take a walk. I will put my hand around this one, put my hand around that one. And I will tell them to lift me up. You know, while they are doing that, I will say to them, remain grateful, mm. remain humble. Mm. Treat your wives very well. Mm. You know, I was deliberately doing that because I know it will stay. Not just sitting and saying, number one, you must love God. Number two, you see, I'll take them out on a walk. The same thing, my husband would take the children, go to the University of Ife. Tell them, their, you know, his life story. I'm not even there. Sit them down, give them food, and tell them stories. So we need to start changing from the conventional way of parenting. Befriend your child. For instance, now, in Nigeria, schools are resuming. And many parents will say, hey, hey, hey come here. If I hear Kweka this semester, if I hear something this year, nobody should lose exercise book. Nobody should. Whereas you can do the same thing with a plate of ice cream. Hello, everybody. School is resuming. Hey, we are going to talk now. Nobody is losing exercise book. Hey, hey. Look at that. You're passing across the same message, but you know, not the way you were ready. If your father or your grandmother born you, just let me see that you didn't you didn't carry carry third position, eh? You see. Whereas we can say, 
the longer you live, the brighter you will shine. My child did well last semester. It was only maths, but now this semester, hey, look at the difference. Positivity and possibility. Mm -hmm. Let's raise our kids that way. Mm -hmm. Because the generation you are dealing with is not the same generation of your parents or of or your own generation. We're dealing with three different generations. The generation of our parents, our generation, the generation of our children. So we need to understand that principles don't change, but methods change. Mm. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. God, who at sundry times spoke through the prophets now. Principles mm. don't change, but methods change. So, instead of the regular, regular, come here, come back, tell mm -mm. This generation we are dealing with, you cannot be jumping up to slap your 21-year-old boy. Mm. No. Things have mm. changed. Mm. Oh, my God. A coach is a coach. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, mama, no, mama. A coach is a coach any day, any time. This is amazing. Thank you. Wow. Please, I want to encourage us. Come to Marrakesh. We were in Mauritius. I don't think there is anybody that went to Mauritius that is not coming to Marrakesh. I don't think so. I didn't have, I didn't have much issues with my husband. Um, I didn't have much issues with my husband. Uh, they won't let me read. Though his parents gives me issues. We have financial crisis these days, and I'm a final year student in nursing school. I begged my family to be of help, and they gave me condition until I leave my husband. They can help me. Wow. They can't help me because they don't like him from beginning. And I married him because they are abusive in my family. Ma, please. Okay. Uh, Mom, my dear, I... God, God will see you through. Don't leave your husband that you love because of some selfish family members. God has a way. He will answer you. <laughs> oh, God. So, please, don't. if you love the man, and you don't have issues with him. Don't worry. Money is the least of all problems. Yes, if you don't have it today, you'll have it. Just be dealing with exactly. it. Please come to Marrakesh. Please come to Signature. Once we are done with this life right now, mommy will pray for us. You will see the, the flyers on my page. And you follow the numbers, reach out to them, sign up for the online and also make plans to be in marrakesh um, um something happened to me yesterday and i'm like you don't have money you don't have money do you know when something happens to you money will come out <laughs> money will come out people will travel far to come and attend burial god forbid Amen. none will happen to us thank you so much money um where a lot of people are going to somebody a pastor is saying, let me join when we are almost done. Mommy, please pray for us. When the yeah. father cannot take up his place as the priest of the home, how do you make him to do that? <laughs> I think we need to have consistently programs for men. Yes, ma'am. Like this Marrakesh, you need to encourage your, your male friends, everyone here, your husband, because there's one night that I'm dedicated to men only. It is mm. called the Black Tie Night, mm. you know, the Black Tie Event. I just want only men mm. because nobody, we just realize that it's women, 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 do this, do that, do that. What about the men? Somebody has to speak to the men. There are, there are real men. There are good men, but a lot of men have issues because they were not raised well. Mm. So, ah, Lord, I thank you for tonight. I thank you for Dr. Chioma, her thank husband you. and children, her ministry, her business life. I thank you for everyone on this call tonight. I thank you for the privilege of blessing them. 
I pray for everyone that love will be established in your will and your counsel in the name of Jesus. I destroy every yoke over our families, over our children, over our spouses, over our lives. And I say that we are established concerning kingdom projects as far as we are concerned in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, everyone trusting you for the blessing of the womb, please visit them. Everyone that needs a husband or a wife, Lord, please be kind to them. Everyone that has children with special need, oh God, let this tongue come. Grant them wisdom in the name of Jesus. I pray that Lord you will meet everyone at each person's point of need in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because you are faithful. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much, mommy. I'm you left your meeting, you left your everything just to be a blessing. Thank, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. Great prof. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Awesome God. I want to encourage everybody. Come to Marrakesh. This woman of God carries a global blessing. I was her guest speaker in January. She carries that anointing. She carries. So when she, I, I was on her platform, first of all, on Instagram. And then she invited me as a guest speaker in January. Amazing. Of course, you could see heaven open. You could see. I'm going to be there again, January. So we've been on. This program is called real issues, real people, real God. I was a woman that was in the waiting room for five years. When I got married, my husband said, doctor said there is no sperm count. Today, my son is 18, school is in abroad. My daughter is 14. And God said, I kept in the waiting room for five years. I will bless you. And now I will use you to bless others. And today, we are counting more than 1.2 million supernatural conceptions. Amazing. God is just so awesome. God connected me through Mommy Funke, uh, to Mommy Funke, and the true doctor in Kechi, Harry in Ghana. That was how we got to. And from that time, my goodness, Mommy is a She's a gift to the body of Christ. You see this woman of God? She is a gift. Mommy is a gift. She's intelligent. She has grace. The, the anointing of God is upon her. Now, we've been on parenting from August. And we're calling parenting a wrap today. And from next Thursday, we're bringing in different people with different encounters. If you know you have a beautiful story, beautiful like it was tough in the beginning, real people, real issues, real people, and real God. That's the name of this um, um, live program. So we bring in people, and then we want to know the crucible moment. At what point? What did that thing do in your life? And where are you now? So real people, real issues, real God. You saw what happened in mommy's program when I was in Akure. My tailor disappointed me. Let me call it a wrap with this encounter. My tailor disappointed me. When I got to Abuja, I was shocked. I said, what am I going to wear? So when I got to Akure, my protocol, I asked her. From the clothes they brought, only one big one was... That, that was the one I love, but that one was like a, a, a boo-boo. The Holy Spirit said, your topic is fruitfulness. You are here to talk about fruitfulness. And you want to wear a pitted dress? You came here carrying multiple babies. God has given me the grace for fertility. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's powerful. Very powerful. The, go to my page and see for yourself. The miracles are amazing. And God said, you can't come here and then 
when they fitted dress, when I gave you multiple. So I want to pray for every woman. But adventure, you missed my God of Hannah conference online on the 16th of September. Please go to my YouTube and watch it at, at Pastor Choma Idezi PhD, all on small letter. This video will be saved and, you know, immediately it will be posted on YouTube. Go and watch it on YouTube and subscribe. God started using me. He said, what I did for you, I will use you to do for others. And here we are today. The number of miracles, healings, so two major assignments on my head. I know, even if you wake me up, leading women and fruit of the womb. Yes, the youth is there. Yes, the widows are there. Of course, marriage is in that one. But I remember those accounts very clearly. I saw women in the valley. And those women in the valley, they, you, like a forest, the trees were each close to each other. They were just close to each other. You cannot even, you can't run straight, not to talk of a car. And women, women were there. But there was no way of escape. And then I saw a bus. I don't even know how the bus got there. But the Holy Spirit told me, enter the bus and drive these women out of the dungeon. I said, how? It's so motorable. There's a tree here. There's another tree here. You can't. But you know, when God is speaking to you, he carried me and put me in the van. How he, not me, God, mano, ay, 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 Can I pray for everybody looking for the fruit of the womb? Because he did it for me. Ali prosu katalagada. Lege dege, lege diabosia gadea. Every yoke of barrenness shattered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You didn't come into this life just by accident. There are no coincidences. We only have God incidents. Aliyah Bazia Gadia. Lege de Gida Labrozuka Gada Every yoke of barrenness. I was ministering and God dissected fibroid and he started going out. Whatever you entered this Instagram life with, whatever problem it is, however it came, whatever it looks like, we've heard the word of God. Now is your time of deliverance. I speak it into your life, into your system, into your business, into what you lay your hands to do in the name of Jesus. Receive miracle babies. We've had quadruplets, many. We've had triplets, plenty. We have triplets, first conception, two is another three, a cataliaba. Is it papers? Are you sick in your body? Is anything wrong with you? I pray by the grace of my mother that entered into this life this, this evening, this afternoon, wherever you are, and, and just went back to her meeting. She didn't come here in vain. I prophesy over your life. What you're looking for will begin to look for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I hear it loud and clear. Arise and shine, for your light has come. I hear the Lord say, give me praise three days. Give me praise three days. Watch me do the wonders. Give me praise three days. Give me praise three days. Watch me do that miracle. Congratulations, everybody online. Congratulations. Join me. If you go to my program, you will see what I do. Um, join on um, um, real life, real issues, real issues, real people we got every Thursday. And then I come midnight every other day. I'm not in Nigeria presently. So it's not been, I've been missing time. Not been easy to do the live midnight and all of that. I bless you. Congratulations. Three days, three days, midnight, three days. Three days, midnight. Three days, midnight. If you like, you can do 6 to 12 fasting and then midnight. Three days, three days, you will see. You will see what God will do for you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. I love you all. Come to Marrakesh.
come to Marrakesh. I'll post the flyers and you you follow every information. Come to Marrakesh. So once we are done here, come to the flyer. Please click like and make a comment. Save it. Come to Marrakesh. It's going to be an amazing time. You will see all of us and we'll have time. If you're, you will come looking for the fruit of the womb, you will live heavily pregnant only to go and meet your husband and it will happen. You will come single. By the time you're leaving, Olga will locate you. You will come looking for one miracle or the other. By the time you get back, what you're looking for will now begin to look for you. Love you all. Amazing time. So please rush to my YouTube and watch this again and again. And please subscribe. God bless you. Amen. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please click on follow. Click on follow. God bless you.